welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a review on the new It Cosmetics Bye Bye Foundation. If you do want to see a review and a demo, please keep watching. It Cosmetics newest foundation. I purchased this online. I thought that this would be a good match. I bought this in the shade Rich. I know online, like their previous foundation, Rich was a little bit darker. This is what the foundation bottle looks like. Let's see if this matches. It does come with a pump. Pump out one pump to see what this foundation looks like. So that's one pump of the foundation. We're going to blend this out. Okay, so I think Rich might be my shade. I did also purchase the It Cosmetics brush. This is the Heavenly Luxe Flat Top Buffing Foundation Brush. So I didn't even open it, so let's open it up. This is what the brush looks like. It is a flat top brush. Let's see if we can buff out the foundation with this. You guys know I don't really use brushes. I use beauty blenders, so we're just going to try this foundation with this brush. Let's do one pump, and then we'll go from there. So this is one pump of the foundation. I'm just taking a little bit. Even on the box, it does suggest to apply one or two pumps to clean skin using your favorite It Cosmetics brush or fingertips, either on top or in place of your skincare products. Best results apply starting at the center of your face and then smooth and blend outward. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to start from the center and then blend outward. I did already moisturize and prime my face. For moisturizer, you guys know I've already used my Dr. Jart Water Drop Moisturizer. That's what this looks like. This is my Holy Grail Daytime Moisturizer. I love this moisturizer. It works very well for me, especially because I do have oily skin. For primer, I do have on the Too Faced Hangover Primer. This is an amazing primer. It, this works especially well with my Dr. Jart Water Drop Moisturizer. These two are amazing together. So now let's blend out the foundation. So we're going to start inward. And we're going to blend out. I love how soft this brush is. Let's see. I thought Rich would be a little bit too dark, but look, it does look nice on the skin. I'm going to do one side of the face. This foundation does have a sunscreen smell to it. I definitely don't think one pump is enough. That's one pump of the foundation on this side of my face, and this side has nothing on my face. It did kind of correct some of the redness on my face, and it is smooth. I did notice that the foundation did kind of cancel out the redness on this side of my face, whereas this side you can see a little bit of the redness. So far, so good. I like the foundation so far. We're going to do one more pump. I'm just going to blend it out. Do you use circular motions when you're using a brush? I mean, I haven't used a brush in a long time, you guys. So this is, it's a little bit tricky. Sometimes for me. I'm just going to do like circular motions and then we'll use a beauty blender to kind of blend everything in if it's not blending correctly. I can still see the redness on my face. I don't think it's a full coverage foundation. I mean, it's a moisturizer, so we're just going to see if this works. I want this to work on my skin. And it does state to apply this every two hours. Who's got time for that? I am going to try the other side of my face with a beauty blender. I've already dampened my beauty blender, so I'm just going to take a little bit, like one pump, and apply this on my face directly so we can see what this looks like. We'll do one layer and then we'll try to build it up. This is why I love Beauty Blenders. The product applies a little bit nicely in my opinion. I can see a little bit more coverage on this side of my face using the Beauty Blender versus the other side of my face where I use that brush. Which side do you guys like better? The Beauty Blender side or the brush side? I, I personally like the Beauty Blender side. I prefer a flawless finish. So I'm going to use the Beauty Blender. I'm going to do this side, apply a little bit more coverage because I need to cover up this redness. When you do apply this foundation out with your Beauty Blender, it is going to sink right into your skin. This side has three layers on and this side has two layers on. So I'm just going to even it out with another layer. You also get one fluid ounce in this product. So just the same amount as in any foundation. So there we go, that's a little bit of coverage. Let's do the ears. Everybody forgets about their ears. I feel like this foundation is more like if you're out in the sun all day, and if you want something to protect your skin with a little bit of tint to it, then this foundation would be perfect for you. But I think if you're gonna be in an office all day, I don't think you would need this foundation. This is what the foundation is currently looking like.
I apply three layers of the foundation, which is surprising because I normally do two layers. Since this is like a medium coverage foundation, I have to build it up to my liking. I'm going to wear this foundation for the entire day. I'm not going to put any concealer on. I'm not going to put any eyeshadow on. I'm just going to see how this wears throughout the day. Check back in with you guys at the end of the night, and I will see you guys then. Hey guys, so it is the end of the night. I'm me testing out the IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Foundation. This is what the foundation is currently looking like. I'm going to zoom you guys in for a closer look. You guys are zoomed all the way in and you guys can definitely see that this foundation creases. Up here on my eyelid, you can see how the foundation creased quite a bit. I did set this foundation with my Kat Von D translucent powder like I always do and it still ended up creasing. We're going to tell you guys the price of this foundation. This retails for $39.50. That's how much I picked it up for at ultabeauty.com. I purchased this online where it wasn't released in stores yet, so I wasn't able to swatch it in store to see the color. Another thing that I did notice about this foundation is that all of the foundation's undertones are all yellow tone. My undertone is olive. In person, it did look a little bit orange as well. I forgot to tell you guys how much this brush costs. This brush retails for $48 at ultabeauty.com. I don't like this brush. I don't like how this brush worked with the foundation. The week of me testing out the Bye Bye foundation, I will be using my beauty blender to blend out the foundation, not this brush. After using this brush on this side of my face, and I rinsed this out with my solid beauty blender cleanser, I noticed that a lot of the foundation was inside of this brush. The pumps of foundation that I used on this brush it just seeped all the way inside of the brush and then when I wrung it out with my beauty blender there was so much foundation so I felt like that was a waste of foundation and the foundation didn't get fully applied on my face using this brush. Another thing that I do want to say about this foundation that this foundation does smell like sunscreen. It did linger on for quite some time. I thought the sunscreen smell would go away throughout the day but the sunscreen smell was there for a good two and a half hours. I had to breathe something else in because I can only smell the sunscreen all throughout my work day so I've been wearing this foundation for about nine and a half hours going on ten hours I was reading some of the claims online and it does state that it improves skin hydration which it did not in my opinion I felt like this foundation was clinging on to my dry patch right here you guys know I have very oily and sensitive skin so this foundation made me super greasy I'm basically a grease ball this foundation states that it's full coverage and long lasting. I don't think this foundation is full coverage. It is medium coverage. I built up the foundation to three layers. I don't think you really need three layers. I'm gonna breeze right through the end of this foundation bottle by the end of the week. This foundation is definitely not gonna last me. This foundation also claims to reduce the look of dark spots. I disagree, the foundation does make me look so old. I feel like I've aged 20 years. Like I feel like I'm an old person. So I feel like if you have mature skin, this foundation will work for you. This foundation also states to reduce the look of blemishes. I don't think that this foundation has reduced anything in my opinion. My texture enhanced my blemishes, my pimples, everything. This foundation I am not liking so far. Let's see how the week plays out. You never know. My mind will change. See you guys at the end of the week to let you guys know if I like this foundation, if it's a, if it's a pass, and I will see you guys then. Hey guys, so it is the end of the week of me testing out the IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Foundation. Final thoughts on this foundation. I do not like this foundation. I tried this foundation out for the entire week and this foundation creases so bad. I just cannot recommend a product that's going to crease after I set the foundation. This foundation retails for $39.50. The It Cosmetics brush I would not recommend for $48. This brush soaks up all of your foundation products so I would not recommend this brush at all. I really wanted this foundation to work out for me. Currently I am wearing the foundation. I have two layers of the foundation on. I did blend it out with my beauty blender. Blending out the foundation with a damp sponge would apply the foundation evenly on your face versus using a brush like this. My eyelids also are still creased. I would not recommend you guys picking up this foundation. This foundation is a pass. If you guys did enjoy this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. I will see you guys in my next video.